Hey, this is Adam from Brighter, and today uh, we're going to walk through a couple of short videos that are all about the legal innovation process and specifically how to use Brighter in combination with something like ChatGPT to accelerate the prototyping process, which we know is so critical to innovation. Um, the context for this video is uh, sort of a hypothetical scenario. Imagine you are the innovation leader at a law firm and a partner from your uh, venture funds practice group comes to you and says, hey, later this week, I'm meeting with a prospect, prospective client. It's a venture fund. I'm meeting with the chief operating officer and the GC. They really want to know if we can help them accelerate and standardize our investment documentation paperwork process. You know, how can you help? And so what you need to do as the innovation leader is to quickly build something tangible that can illustrate to the partner and potentially to the client as well uh, what's possible, all right? So this is a great um, example of how Brighter really, uh, really excels. And we're gonna use a combination of Brighter and um, ChatGPT to really um, go from zero to 60 quickly, all right? So I've got a empty Brighter application that's ready to do the work for us. And I'm also gonna work with ChatGPT. I'm sure you all have heard of it. Um, this is a great use case for ChatGPT because we're just basically going to generate some fake data that will accelerate our prototyping. We don't need to give it sens sensitive data. We don't need to worry too much about um, uh, mistakes or any anything like that. So we'll start by prompting ChatGPT to generate a template for a seed series uh, term sheet based on the Y Combinator safe model. If you don't, for those who don't know, Y Combinator is a prominent, very prominent technology accelerator and investor, and they um, have created and open sourced a set of standardized investment documents uh, that they call SAFE. That's why I'm using it as a reference point. And I'm going to ask ChatGPT to use for all use um, double curly brackets to signify all placeholders. Don't use square brackets. I know chat GPT likes to use square brackets. So I want it to use curly brackets, double curly brackets, so that it's compatible with uh, Brighter's uh, doc gen. Okay, so it's doing its work while it's it's moving along. I'm going to start on the Brighter side and we're going to create a module. And this module is basically going to be doing the work of generating a uh, term sheet. All right, and we'll just kind of create the skeleton, the basic skeleton. We're going to need to interact with a database. We're going to need to generate a document. Um, those, that's the, basically the work of this module. So we'll start with uh, a couple of actions. We need an action to get a parameter, and we'll call this investment ID. All right, we need uh, to use that investment ID to query a database. So we'll have a read from database action. We don't have the database yet, but this will just be a placeholder. I'll call it get investment record from DB. Uh, we're gonna then have to create a document, which would be the term sheet. And then we're gonna save that term sheet back into the database. So another action to write or update investment record in the database. And uh, we'll stop there for now. All right, so that's the basic structure of our module. Let's see how um, ChatGPT is doing. This looks okay. The details don't matter too much here. Um, I do want to... Um, I do want to not only have the template, but also have data that matches the template. So I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to, chat to uh, create a table of fake data that uh, can be used to populate this template. Uh, include an ID field with a unique alphanumeric five digit ID. All right. And meanwhile, while it's doing that work, I'm going to copy this template and 
open up a Word document. I'm going to paste that in. Oops, I should have done unformatted paste. All right. And uh, I'm not even going to read it because I honestly don't care that much about the details because this is a prototype. Rough is fine. I'm going to save this as term sheet template. And I'm going to then return. Let's just check in and see how ChatGPT is doing. That looks pretty good. Okay. And I'm going to ask it for six more rows of data um, using unique IDs. All right. Uh, now I'm going to go back to the module. And now that we have the template, I'm going to use that. So I'm in my generate document node, I'm going to upload that template we just created. Where was it? Um, term sheet template. All right. And brighter is recognizing all the placeholders. It's mapping. Um, it's not mapping any values to them yet because we don't have the database hooked up. Um, we'll just call this term sheet. All right. So that is good. Let's check back in again with chat GPT. All right. So now we have some data. And I'm just going to copy uh, ChatGPT's UI is breaking down a little bit. That's okay. Let's go into um, Excel and let's create a, a blank spreadsheet. All right. And I'm just going to drop this in here. Go back to ChatGPT and get the rest. Pop that in. All right. Now let's, we're going to have to do a little bit of work on this data just to make sure it's um, properly uh, interpreted by Brighter. So we're going to convert um, the, you know, the currency values to numerical. And I think the rest of these should be okay. All right, so let's save that. Um, I call this um, investment data. Great. Okay, now we're gonna um, go back to Brighter and we're actually gonna create a database and populate it with uh, the data we just generated using ChatGPT. So we'll go to databases, new database, call this uh, investments choose file and uh, investment data I create and it read all the header the, the, the field headings and it interpreted all the data we'll publish that database all right now we have a database with about 10 rows of data that we can work with okay so I'm going to go back to brighter now and to our module and we have uh, an investment ID. We have a get, get investment record from DB, and we're now ready to actually specify the database. We're going to use our investment ID to identify the, the correct, um, to, to, to pull the right record out of the, uh, out of the database. We're going to update our database as well using the same ID. And we're going to be able to... Oh, I just noticed that we need to add a field to our database to hold the actual term sheet. So let's do that quickly. Case database, edit, and term sheet. Save. Back to the module. All right, now we can reference the term sheet we're going to generate, add it to the database. All right. And the only thing missing now is to map these values from the database into the, um, into the template. So let's check out 
date, company name, uh, investor name, amount, uh, preferred, convertible, purchase price, use. And I'm just typing in a little keyword uh, or just beginning to pull out the right value from the database, price, conversion price, cap, relation cap, qualified financing, governing law, address, and investor address. All right, so we've mapped in all of our um, values into our template. And now when we run this against any record in our database, we're going to be able to generate uh, a term sheet for that um, for that uh, record, and we're going to save that term sheet into our database. So that's the basic. I'm going to go ahead and publish this. All right, that's the basic engine for this term sheet generation. And let's go ahead and create a view, a data view that will sit on top of our database. The data view is going to show us the data we've got in our investments database. And we don't need all the fields. Let's just go with um, company name, investor name, and term sheet. And we'll actually move term sheet up to here. And we probably don't need all of these. Um, okay, that's fine. All right, so um, I'll save this and I'm gonna add an action link to this data view. An action link uh, takes a given record and lets you execute a module for on that record, against that record. So this is perfect for creating a term sheet and I'm gonna pick our term sheet I'm going to identify the um, the parameter we're using to match the um, oh my gosh sorry my mouse skills are not working here we go all right save this all right so now we've got a data view and we're going to go ahead and put this in a application front end which is what you know, we call um, uh, a sort of um, a wrapper with a navigation menu for an application. And that will allow us to use this and see how it's working. Well, to do that, we're gonna need a, um, a module to help us put in our menu the actual data view we just created. So call this investments. Publish this, all right, and we can go back to our publish application. And we actually don't need the generation, generate term sheet. We, we just need this because we're going to have, we're going to generate the term sheets from each of the investments. All right, so let's look at this. All right, so we've got our list of investments that ChatGPT helped us generate. Uh, none of them have term sheets yet. And we've got an action uh, for each one that uh, will link up for each record to our investment. So let's do one more thing before we try this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make it so that after uh, the module runs to generate a term sheet, it actually takes us back to that data view. So I'm gonna do a redirect to a module and a uh, new module is poorly named, but that's the module that shows us the data view. And I'm gonna publish this. And it's uh, Brighter's telling me I've got an error somewhere. So let me just check that, make sure I know what that, aha, we forgot to publish that module. That's important. Um, let me just, Make sure this is done correctly. This is a redirect to data view. Publish. 
All right, so both of these are published now. We'll go to our application. All right, so now let's try it with Lambda Enterprises, create term sheet. All right, and we created our term sheet. We can uh, download it to take a look at it. And there it is, Lambda Enterprises, Christopher Kim, so on and so forth. There's some finessing we did not do yet around the amounts. Uh, we obviously want to convert those into, um, um, uh, you know, currencies or percentages or, and we want to format dates and things. That's all easy to do inside Brighter. We just haven't done it yet. But that hopefully shows you an example of how this can be done. Let's add one little um, twist to our term sheet generation. Let's actually show the term sheet before we pass along to um, the, the pass back to the uh, back to the um, to the list of investments. Um, we'll say here is the term sheet. And we're gonna use our document viewer to show the term sheet that's just been generated. So we're now um, essentially publishing those that quick change we've made. I'm gonna call this um, show term sheet. And I'll publish it. All right, and now we go back to our prototype. We refresh our investments list. And certainly Lambda Enterprise is already done. Let's do the next one, Kappa Industries. And there we go, there's our term sheet shown side by side, which is awesome. If we hit next, it'll take us back to the list of investments and we can run another one. This one's for Delaware, for another company, another investment, different terms, so on and so forth. So um, this is, uh, you know, quickly, a um, real live prototype using realistic looking data that chat gpt helped us generate that you could show to the partner uh you know in less than 15 minutes you built this and you could show it to to them and say all right this is a first first cut at this what do you think what's missing what changes do you want to make what would the client want to see and making changes then is quite easy from there so hopefully that um that's interesting and helpful. Uh, we are always happy to talk if you have questions or you want to see this in action firsthand. Uh, reach out to us and uh, I'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks.